You're listening to the A to Z English podcast. Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack and I'm here with my co-host Social and today we are going to do an idioms episode for you related to travel. And so Social, I've got three idioms and they're all related to travel because I thought a lot of people travel during the holiday season in America and in the West. Mm -hmm. So the first one is on the road. If somebody says to you, hey, I'm on the road, what does that mean to you? Um, it means they're driving someplace. And usually it's like a longer distance most of the time. You would say, hey, how, you know, are you on your way for Christmas dinner? And they might respond, yeah, I'm on the road now. So that means they're like somewhere, you know, on the highway in a car coming to see you. Right. Yeah. Another another expression we use sometimes is on route. It's like, uh, you know, I'm in the, I'm currently traveling. That's that's all it means. It's like we could use the present oh. continuous tense. You know, I am traveling right now. Yeah, I pronounce that so differently. I'm sure I pronounce that. Oh, how did I pronounce? Wrong. I said on on route. What do you say? En route and on. No, you said on on route. You said on route, and I was like, I don't pronounce. I pronounce it wrong. I'm pretty sure. I say like en route. En route. You're probably right. En- but I've also no, heard I'm it on route. Sure right. On route. Yeah, on route. Probably. You said. On route, route, <laughs> and route. <laughs> you know, I don't know how to pronounce this it. Is, yeah. This is honestly a great learning moment for our listeners because yeah. the U.S. is such a big country that everyone like has their accent, and depending which region that you're from, it doesn't really matter about the standard or correct pronunciation. Each place is gonna pronounce things differently, and you're just gonna have to get used to the region that you're staying in more right it's a regional dialect kind of thing right so so this is the word r o u t e some people say root some people say route some people say you know there's there are variations of pronunciation so i think i say on route or on route uh-huh. yeah he said he sounds like he's saying it in germanic like it sounds german almost i'm like it's I probably a like french it's word too right it's it should be french yeah i right. say en route because or en route or en route because en it's e n so I automatically think like en route. I don't know. I'm not sure yeah. what the correct. Well, because red mistake. in French is rouge, so r o u g e r u t e should be root, right? On yeah, route. it's a loan word to English, which is why no one in the English language says it perfectly. <laughs> it's not a it's something we commonly use but it's not from the english language itself all right well we'll get back on the road here we got sidetracked we we've got sidetracked with uh en route but uh anyway the uh the meaning is just that you're you you are on the road like you are driving right, right now i'm on the way and so yeah it's just a common we use this all the time right Hey, where are you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm on the road right now. I'm on my way. I'm coming. So, uh, yeah, usually long journeys, like you said. So, good. Um, number two, the second idiom is off the beaten path. And what does that mean, to be off the beaten path? Off the beaten path. This is funny because you can use it two ways. One, as... Robin once said idioms are like the multiverse of the English language. Right. So off the to be to go off the beaten path, there's a famous poem about that. And it means that you're not following everybody else. So you're doing your own path. But you if you call someone and say, Hey, I'm off the beaten path, you're probably saying that you're lost. Mm. You took a detour or an alternate route route (laughs) and you now don't know where you're going or you might know where you're going but you took a shortcut or yeah yeah i i usually associate it with like choosing the less popular less explored destination 
Um, that's oh, what I yeah. usually associate it with. Like, you know, um, well, for example, you know, my my own life uh, journey is kind of off the beaten path, right? Most most people, if you grow up in your country, stay in that country and get a job and work in your home country. It's pretty rare to work and live in another country that's not your home country. So even my own choice of uh, career was off the beaten path. And the beaten path is just the path that most people take. And you sometimes we take a different path that's less traveled. And uh, like you said, it's it's um, very much like the Walt Whitman poem, the the load, the road less traveled, I think is what it's called, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, And the last one here, all roads lead to Rome. This one's a little less common, I think. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I really use this one. I guess it's saying all roads end up in the same place. Exactly. So no matter which path, this is probably going to sound a little bit macabre, but I was thinking for Jack and I and other people, no matter which path we take, whether it's different or the same, we're all going to end up dead. <laughs> That's kind of sad. <laughs> It's dark. <laughs> or, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. Or no matter <laughs> what you do in life, most of us are going to have a job, whichever job that might be, or, you know, all roads lead to the same end, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're, you're kind of like, um, we could do it this way, we could do it this way, we could do it another way, but it doesn't matter because in the end, we're all going to end up with the same result. And so... Right. You just say you can say use this expression. You're like, well, it doesn't matter if we choose option A, B, or C because all roads lead to Rome. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't. You know, I don't think I've actually ever used that expression. To be honest, no, me neither. I've never used that, yeah. but we, you know, I do know what it means. I think it's probably one of those that's more common in writing, like written English, than it is in spoken English. Yeah, yeah, you might. You might come across it in a book or a novel or something like that. So, yeah, good to know it. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, make sure you use these idioms in our group chat on WhatsApp. Shoot us an email using these idioms at a to z English podcast at gmail.com. Leave a comment down below on our website, a to z English podcast.com. And we will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.